All right, guys, today I'm going to show you how to get 400 sacks in month 19 to complete month master and also how to get 25 sacks with Ryan Shazier to get that objective list done. Before we get into that common day coming in from MT who says, Jordan Reed, hail to the Redskins. Also, like all first view, guys, can we smash uh, 75 likes? Question today is going to go ahead and be, do you prefer a mobile quarterback or a pocket passer? And either one, if you chose mobile or pocket passer, comment that down below and tell me in the comment why you choose either one. You know, is it because you like the what you have a certain system? Is it because you know just you just like to one uh, mobile quarterback? You don't you're not that good at passing. You like to be more of a mobile offense. Tell me down below in the comment section. So, as I said, you have to get 400 sacks in order to complete Mutt Master. You have to get 25 sacks with Ryan Chazier to get Mutt Master. So what solo challenge are we going to be doing all this greatness in? It's going to be the same solo we did the, the uh, last one in with the interceptions. It's the Giant Solo. Yes, the Giant Solo is actually a really good solo. So let's go ahead and start off right away by going to the Giant Solo right here. And again, it's the one where you are down by 35 to 10. Uh, 35 to, uh, you're up 35 to 31. And you they are trying to go ahead and get a touchdown on you, obviously, and beat you. So starting off right away, they will start on 4th and 1. You do want to go ahead and get the, uh, the first down here. Because you want to go ahead and get them to get the ball back. You don't want them to throw Hail Marys. You want to literally just them run basic plays. And then, of course, you're able to go ahead and get sacked. So, first off, I'm going to start off by giving them the first down. Now, I'm going to go first down. It's just run a basic defense. And they should either run the ball here or just do basic stuff. If they don't, I'll punt the ball back to them if they get the first. If they don't get the first down. But they should be able to get the first down here. And okay, Eli Manning sucks. Let's go ahead and punt the ball to them because Eli Manning threw it to nobody. So again, just punt the ball. Same concept, obviously, but we're not doing the interceptions. We're not trying to force them to throw interceptions here. We're just trying to get them to uh, obviously get the ball back. So let's go ahead and do a short little punt. Please fair catch that, my man. Okay, you did not you decided not to fair catch that. But here is what we run. So first off, this is in many different playbooks. You go to formation, you go to nickel, uh, 245 double A gap. Go ahead and real fast sub in uh for the right hand side. I'm gonna have to call a timeout. Actually, crap. Okay, so I can't I don't have enough time to do it right here. But what you want to run here is mid blitz. And what you want to do first off is spread your defensive line. We'll run this a lot of different times. But you want to spread your defensive line. And you see them on the right hand side. Bruce Smith. That's the guy you want to use it depending on obviously. Okay. The Giants really suck. <laughs> Come on, Giants. All right, they're going to spike the ball. Good. So we have some time to show you guys this. Sorry about this all being frantic, but I'm trying to show you this, and the Giants are not making it easy for me. So first off, sub in uh, Ryan Chase here. So you have to sub him out. Go ahead and sub him in at that right end or that what is the linebacker position. Go ahead and put him in there. Call mid blitz. Go ahead and spread your defensive line. Go ahead and slant inside. And what you're going to go ahead and do here is go ahead and use your shades here over here. You see, I'm shades here. I'm going to go over here to the right, all the way to the right. Go ahead and bam. And there we go. Got a sack. <laughs> Without the bam, bam. Thank you, ma'am. All that other kind of nonsense. That is exactly what you do. Let me go ahead and show you guys this on the instant replay real fast. Actually, let's go ahead and we'll go to highlights after this. Um, after uh, Mr. Eli Manning does this. And he's going to throw it deep here, which is going to be incomplete. Come on, Eli. All right, let me go ahead and show you guys that replay real fast. Uh, let's go ahead and go back one play. And this is going to be what you want to do. So first off, as I said... Sub in Ryan Shazier because we want to get Ryan Shazier's sacks, right? We want him to be the one getting the objective list done. So pretty much plain and simple, what's going to happen is you want this guy right here who is young. He's going to go forward and get blocked right here by, if I can get over here, he's going to get blocked by this guy Flowers right here, right? So everyone is going to get lined up pretty much and get blocked one on one on one right the only guy who's not going to get blocked is going to go ahead and be ryan shazier on the outside now that's the only guy that won't be blocked on this everyone else will be blocked and you see the right or the uh my right or left end joey boza will be double teamed on this play so he will be double teamed meaning ryan shazier comes in untouched and is able to go ahead and grab the quarterback get a sack same concept applies over and over and over again. We're going to do the same play again, and I'm going to show you the same concept. So, 
And this time, I think I'm have yeah, I have Ryan Shazier already subbed in. We go to mid blitz. We go ahead and spread our defensive line. Crash inside. And again, uh, sometimes it takes a couple times to spread your defensive line for uh for your right end there to get all the way to the right where he's supposed to be, right? It takes a couple times sometimes. But again, let's go ahead and spread our defensive line. They're gonna do a spike, but same concept applies. You keep doing this over and over again, right? And not every single time you're gonna get a sack. No, you're not. Uh, sometimes you will, sometimes you won't. Sometimes you have another guy come in and he'll get a sack and take away from Ryan Shazier, which does suck, but you only need 25 for Shazier. And doing this method, you will get 25 sacks with Ryan Shazier. It is not that difficult. You want to go ahead and make sure that that right end again gets picked up. I want my, uh, I want Young to get picked up. This time they block the halfback, which if they do block a halfback, that you will get picked up by Ryan Shazier, or you, Ryan Shazier will get picked up. Uh, but most of the time, they would not block a halfback. Or they block a halfback on the wrong side that you're actually blitzing on. So let's go ahead and do this again. Hike the ball. Go ahead and get to the outside here. And bam, another sack just like that. So again, um, it's very, very easy. Again, 25 sacks. I mean, you have to do this. Let's say you do this in the game. You get two sacks a game. You do this uh, 12 times. That's 24 sacks. You're pretty much done the objective list for Ryan Chazy. And again, if you want to get a free interception, you guys want to do that. I made a video about that. But let's go ahead and restart it again. And I'm going to show you. Yes, it's not every single time. It's not guaranteed every single time you're going to get a sack. If you don't want to do this Ryan Chazy and you just want to get a sack in general, you can go ahead and use her this right end and just keep hitting, pretty much spamming X or A once you hike the ball and you're able to go ahead and most of the time, you're able to go ahead and get a um, a sack just by doing that. So that's how I got most of my sacks, as you can see uh, from my objective list. But doing this exact same method I'm showing you right here, you will also get a lot. And especially you get a lot with Ryan Shazier, which is the main guy you wanted to get it with, right? Uh, once you get done Shazier, you can go back and actually do it the other method I show, oh, I'm telling you about. Uh, but this is what you want to do with Ryan Shazier. And again, they will throw the ball away. Sometimes, sometimes you actually get an interception because of this. Because they throw it so quickly that the cornerback will pick it off. So, it's a win-win sometimes. But, third down and 10. They should not run the ball here. The, the best thing about the solo challenge is they should not run the ball one time. And right there, who got the sack? Okay, so it's Ray Lewis. Crap, you got 0.5. I'm not sure how that counts. But, um, again, sometimes you will have another player. If you see another player going in for the sack like that, it's sometimes the best just to go ahead and pull off and be like, okay, you know what? I'm not getting Shay Zia sack here, but at least my other guy is going to get one. I get one toward the objective list. So it's sometimes is the best is just to go ahead and, you know, let your other guy get in there. Let your other guy get the um, objective list done or help you get the objective list done. That's usually the best idea in my opinion. But let's go ahead and try this again. I'm trying to show these guys over and over and over and over again because it does work. It's a great way to get this objective list done. It's also a great way to get Mutt Master done. Mutt Master is really not that difficult. A lot of this stuff is just simple things. Like honestly, again, just like this, it's about grinding. You have to. You might have to do the solo challenge right here, 200 different times, so you can go ahead and get this all done. And be able to get done Mutt Master. So it does take a little bit of process. A little bit of grinding. But trust me guys. After you know doing this a lot. Once you start doing this. Let's say 100 times. 150 times. I'm, I'm exaggerating. I'm exaggerating guys. Calm down. But once you do it like. 15 20 times you'll you'll start really getting it down you'll get it down you'll be able to like okay i just gotta go to the right hand side here okay i just want my guy there to get picked up obviously it looks like they might be blocking a half back here i might they might be blocking him okay they they are which if they are it's not the end of the world it's not the end of the world they block a half back it does suck because that does you know stop you from getting an instant sack but if they do whatever you know it's not the end of the world but most of the time i say you at least can get two or three, maybe up to four sacks per this solo attempt, which that is really not that bad because a solo attempt does not take that long and you're able to go ahead and get this stuff done. And again, Ryan Shazier only needs 25. It's not like Ryan Shazier needs, you know, 125. He only needs 25, so it shouldn't be that difficult to go in and get done. Um, with that in mind, though, you can see right here. So again, not every single time. So this video, for example... What did we get? We got uh, three sacks so far. Uh, so in a 10 minute period, obviously I'm not doing the best. Um, because mainly because for some reason he keeps throwing the ball really, really quickly. Most of the time they don't do that. Most of the time they just sit back and chill. 
Uh, so let's go ahead and try this one more time before we end this video off. Just to show you guys uh, that this is a very effective method. Now again, I say this because yes, Ryan Chazio, you want Ryan Chazio to get sacks with him. But using this right end right here is my, how I used to do it. And that's, in my opinion, one of the best ways to do it. Just because of the fact that you can go and once you hike the ball, depending on who the right tackle is, you can go and just push back the right tackle or the um the right tackle, and you're able to go ahead and just get past him, get to the quarterback, depending on who your guy is. Obviously, if you have a fast a right end, you're able to go and push past him. Oh, I think mine is a D tackle, but if you have a fast guy, you're able to push past and get right to the quarterback. That's how I do it, and that's how I would recommend doing it but again if you want mine shades ears uh stats you're gonna have to do it like this move them to the outside but let me go and, let me go ahead and show you this with the right end here so they shouldn't run the ball okay good whoa okay well maybe maybe not user it then maybe not user him because apparently ryan shades is a beast when you don't use him uh but let's go ahead and show you this with the right end though and the whole point what we want to do here is we want to lock up that right uh tackle and we want to go ahead and even help Shazio come untouched even better. Okay, so that's going to be how you're going to do it here. You're going to you want Ryan Shazio to come in untouched over and over again. And why did my guys go all the way to the right here? Okay, so here we go. As you see, third down 19 here, and Ryan Shazio is not going to get the pit of the sack, but we did get a pick six. So very very nice, not bad at all. Again, you can use a Ryan Shazio if you want to. Um, I know some people would probably want to but personally speaking if you don't want to use a shazier you can even do it exactly what i showed you right there which you don't use a shazier you just use it at the right end and shazier will come in untouched or again sometimes as you saw right there well not on that play but sometimes you're you at the right end depending on who you have can go ahead and bulldoze the right tackle and get in yourself so there's many many ways with mid blitz to be able to get sacks on any given play it's a very very awesome play to run it's a very very awesome uh way to get this objective list done so again be the right end here and again sage will come in untouched if you want to use him you can if you don't want to use him because you're like hey i'm not that good at using or i'm not that good at uh you know just running straight they throw it too fast, then do exactly what I showed you right there at the end of this video where they went ahead. I was able to go ahead and just, you know, uh, use it the right end and Chase Zero came in untouched. No problem at all. If you enjoyed this video, guys, make sure to like and subscribe button. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.